Okay, let's quickly go over what's included with the X8 Magic DAC. You have the DAC itself, of course, it comes with a USB cable, a power cable, and depending on what package you get, you can either get the package that has the two op amps. I got the package that has the five op amps, and it also comes with a really handy little uh, organizing container. Pardon my little notes. It just kind of helps me know which op amp is in which little compartment. And then of course the tools uh, in which to change the op amps. Okay, so let's talk about the design, specifications, inputs, outputs, buttons, and knobs. We'll go over the design first. I like the design. I think this little curved cut-in is really cool looking. It kind of gives this a unique look. I like the matte black finish. It actually comes in a silver option as well. I like the little curvature it has on the top here, uh, but it's a very kind of a minimalist approach. Uh, it looks uh, very, very slick though. It looks really good actually when paired with the X7S amplifier that I have. Uh, so the design uh, aesthetic kind of follows through uh, several of their products. And um, when, when again, when stacked on top of another one of their products, uh, it just looks really, really sleek. I like it a lot. As far as the inputs and outputs and the buttons, we'll start with the front here. We've got the main volume knob. Here, of course, we have an input selector switch here. And of course, you've got your light indicators that, that tell you which input you have selected. The A, B, C, and D tell you which filter option you have chosen. Now on the back, we have some TRS outputs, some preamp outputs, balanced outputs, which that's actually exclusive to the 18th, 18th anniversary edition of the X8, so that's pretty cool. You also have your RCA preamp outputs, your RCA lineouts, coax, optical, your USB power input. This right here is, if you got the Bluetooth edition, this is where your uh, Bluetooth antenna would be here. You have your power connection here and your on off switch. And if you flip it over, you've got your little op amp compartment here. And I have the, uh, the cover off because I'm gonna be talking about that here in a minute. So it does actually have a cover with two little screws that hold this plate on. And now again, this is the X8 Magic DAC 18th Anniversary Edition. This one comes in at 299 and it comes with two op amps. You can get, that's package one. If you get package two, that comes with an additional three op amps and that costs $40. There is also a Bluetooth version. If you get the Bluetooth version with package one op amps, it's 329. If you get the package that has package two with the five op amps, then that brings your total to 369. Again, this is the non-Bluetooth version, but I did get the package two, so it came with the five op amps. And the op amps that it comes with, the stock op amp is the NJM5532. 32DD, and again with package two, it comes with the OPA 2604 and the OPA 2134, the Muse S01, which that's, that's actually the one that I ended up kind of settling on. I liked the sound of that one the best, and it also comes with the LME 49720. Now, something else that is really cool about this DAC is that it comes with FPGA architecture, which is pretty unique for a DAC at this price point. And what that stands for, FPGA, is Filled Programmable Gate Array. So the FPGA arch architecture, basically what that does is that enables the op amps so they can change the sound signature. So that's pretty cool that it comes with that at this price point. This decodes up to 32 bits, PCM 768, and up to DSD 512. And we went over this while ago, but and again, this is something that they added for the eight, uh, exclusively for the 18th anniversary edition is the TRS preamp balanced output support. So basically what you can do is add different amplifiers with the TRS inputs to your chain. This also has seven different filter options in addition to the swappable op amps. So between the filter options and the op amps, you have uh, quite a lot of different sound presentation options. Uh, so that's pretty cool also. Okay, 
let's talk about the sound of the X8 Magic DAC 18th Anniversary Edition. We'll talk about the different filter options and we'll also talk about the op amps. Now, when I sat down to test this, I wanted to make sure and first test it in its default mode. So with the default op amp in the default filter. And this is the uh, default op amp that it came with right here. This is the NJM5532DD. So that's that's the op amp that I did my initial testing with and again in the with the default filter on. So I kind of did my normal little routine that I do when I start testing my IEMs. And with the default filter and the default op amp, uh, the sound is, is very good, very detailed, really good clarity. Everything was there. And again, again, with a neutral presentation, a linear presentation, that's not necessarily my favorite. I tend to, uh, to like a warmer sound signature, so just a little bit. So this is a little more linear, neutral, not necessarily clinical, but it doesn't lean warm, doesn't lean cool. It's again, very, very neutral, very linear, linear presentation. But everything else seemed like it was there. Again, good detail, retrieval, good sound stage, good sound depth, and didn't really notice anything missing. And it just sounded good. It allowed the IEMs to kind of keep their sound signatures. It didn't affect the sound of the IEMs. So that's one thing good about a linear or a neutral presentation is, Whatever the sound signature of your IEM or your headphone is, it's going to be able to maintain that. It's not going to affect the sound signature of your IEM or headphone. Now, so at that point, I started cycling through the DACs, kind of listening for differences between them. And so the first four that I tried out, I didn't notice a whole lot of difference. It seemed like they were all pretty similar for the most part. And it wasn't until I got to the Muse S01 that I actually noticed a pretty substantial difference. And basically it seemed with the Muse S01, and that was the one I ended up settling on, it just had a little more dynamics and it had a little bit more note weight. It seemed like the it just had a, a greater sense of musicality, sounded a little more natural. And that was actually the one that I ended up settling on. I didn't want to do a whole lot of op amp swapping, but I did I did enough to where I could get a, uh, you know, make sure I gave each one enough time to understand uh, the, the differences between them. And again, out of the four, out of the five, four of them sounded quite similar, and it was the Muse S01 that actually stood out to me, and that's the one that I have in right now. That's kind of the one that I kept in here. And also, on a side note, make sure that when you install this op amp, and it does say this on the little plastic bag that these come in, that this hole, uh, when you install the op amp, you gotta make sure that you're paying attention to where this hole has to line up with a little notch on this side. Uh, so you make got to make sure you do that right. But anyways, and that's the reason why I didn't want to keep swapping these op amps out. It's, and I know a lot of you guys will like doing that. A lot of you guys are tinkerers. And, um, and some of you may even have other op amps. And you can actually use, you know, other op amps. There are other op amps out there. If that's your thing, if you like to swap out op amps and you want to try different sound signatures, you can do that. And again, you also have the different filters that you can try as well. And speaking of filters, I also did test out the different filters and like the op amps, there were only minor, very minor differences uh, between the different filters. I ended up just settling on the default filter. And now again, you can kind of mess with a different op amp, different filter combinations if you want. This does give you a lot of options. So now let's go ahead and bottom line this. So for the $2.99 base price, you get two op amps included. And because it's the 18th anniversary edition, you also get the, uh, the balanced TRS preamp outputs and you also get the FPGA architecture again, which is not something typically found at this price point. Now, and again, if you want to upgrade, pay the extra $30, you can also get the Bluetooth version. And if you want to get the additional op amps, package two, um, then you can get all of that Bluetooth with the package two for $369. So, uh, and again, you also have the seven different filter options. So I think that's a pretty solid package that Aun uh, put together at that price. And this paired with the X7S amp, 
uh, which I am going to be reviewing soon. It makes just a great little stack. So again, I think Aoun just uh, made something here uh, that is very affordable, has great sound, and a lot of great options if you want to, again, spend a little more and upgrade, upgrade to the Bluetooth or get the additional op amps. So that concludes my review of the Aoun X8 Magic DAC 18th Anniversary Edition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the Gazadio channel. I hope you guys have an awesome day.